What is going on everyone? My name is Charisma. Today we're at Classic Football Shirts here in Manchester, England. I'm surrounded by thousands of soccer jerseys. We're gonna tour their facility real quick, show you what they have to offer. But before we do all this, I wanted to show you guys something that I really, really like and I wasn't able to get my hands on. And this was this Germany Euro away jersey that they wore in 2012. Really, really nice. So in this room, you're gonna find all of these international jerseys. I mean, they have everything here. They have Gibraltar. I believe this is the Euro qualifying jersey. But look at this. Where are you gonna find something like this? Also has a name tag on it, but not a bad looking jersey. I do love these sleeve badges. Oh, look at that, that's really nice. This is a really nice one. This is Haiti from the Copa America by Seita Sport. Very nice looking jersey. Fits very tight though. But other than that, the design of the jersey itself is very, very nice. Spain home jersey from the World Cup 2010. Not a bad looking jersey, you have the away jersey though. I prefer that one uh, a little bit more than this. It doesn't look too bad, but obviously it looks a lot nicer with all the patches on it. Sweden, jeez, uh, from back in the day, very light. And then uh, of course they have the same template that uh, all the old ones did. We have the stripes coming off to the sides. I actually think they are bringing it back for next year's World Cup. This is a size large, a little big on me. Can't really wear this one. So I was in the back just looking at more of these international shirts and my eye caught this one. Check this out. It's a match issue, Qatar. Beautiful. You probably know this one. Uh, very recent jersey. Germany used this in uh, the Euro. Match issue. I mean, you can see the number inside the uh, the collar right there. Nice heat transfer, Team Crest and Adidas logo, number six. Back panel is all uh, very light and the sleeves are super soft. Got another Germany here, but this is the Tech Fit version. So it gives you that really, really tight fit. I do have one uh, Tech Fit jersey in my collection and that's the AC Milan from 2010. And you you definitely cannot wear that jersey out in public just because this fits like a very very tight uh, compression shirt um, you can see all the taping on the sides over here but the design of the jersey I'm not too crazy about this cream or off-white that comes off the shoulders here but you do have the Germany football crest with their flag colors that runs down and then you also have a nice raised uh, graphic on the back all right guys check this out very old school I'm not really sure what year this might be manufactured by Aria Sports and it has that old-school Italy uh, team crest on here but look at the jersey overall and then you got you know italian black colors on the sleeve so this is really really cool it should go back to something like this this huge football crest is really really nice all right look what i just pulled out match worn september 12 2002 very very nice looking jersey look at all this material back in the day all netted feels very sturdy and you know it's like almost like a tech fit jersey and it has that feel but i'm pretty sure it doesn't fit like one very uh, ventilated too under the arm and then the entire back panel solid orange more of that netting on the bottom all right one more from this international section then we're going to tour the entire facility but check this out it's a little bit big manufactured by atletica i'm assuming based out of mexico i'm not really sure yep made in mexico very very old school nice full buck crest with the little tricolor up there it has a very silky feel to it nice satin finish and everything too colors a bit huge not my cup of tea but all right i'm gonna turn this camera around let's go all right so we were right over there now more of this international section over here starting off with afghanistan this is pretty recent uh not a bad looking jersey but they have more england stuff all the way down there from the 06 world cup that's where i kind of started all my uh, soccer jersey collection but they have chile up here argentina down there if i could live here i probably would manchester united umbro jersey look at that holy crap I've never seen something like this in person, but seeing them now here obviously making me very happy. Oh, old school Chelsea, let's not pick that up. I don't even know what team this is. What is this? Oh, it's Juventus. I'm kidding. I knew what that was. Assuming this is all the Bundesliga right here. Kappa, Dortmund, Umbro. This is like a big maze. Look at this. Wow. All right, now we're in this room. This is all old school Barcelona and Real Madrid, which is right around here. Oh my God, look at this one. Now that's retro, ain't it? All white. Look at that tag though in the middle of the jersey. You got the Zidane name set on this one. Coming down this aisle. See a bunch of new stuff in here too. What? I don't want to really pull out. You've probably seen stuff like that before. Real Batiste. Look at this. Holy crap. Look how old this looks. I love the design on this one. Kappa jerseys. I think they looked a lot better back in the day. Now they go in for that tight fit. Not really a fan of that. The graphic. It's imprinted onto the jersey. LA Galaxy. Looks all MLS up here. Check this out, Liverpool. We got some Liverpool haters in the room. 
Look at that old school Gerard. Wow, that's awesome. Haven't seen that jersey in ages. Man City down here. Nice stripes, nice v-neck color. Made by Reebok. This was the design I was talking about earlier. Adidas is bringing this back for this year too on the shoulders. Check this out. We're in the lower section of the building now. And we have millions of uh, name sets, numbers. These were all supplied by Roma. Then we have Milan over here. Tiny numbers, big numbers, back letters, Premier League name sets. This is where the mill comes in every day. This is what came in today. Top tier of their building. These are all the match worn section. So these are super limited. I'm not gonna go too crazy on this one. I don't wanna ruin anything they have. Copa del Mundo FIFA France 98. Ortega. Match one, number 10 at the time. Look at all these boots over here. Oh, excuse me? Do you know who these are autographed by? Um, it's not always easy to tell. No, I have no idea what that says. Yeah. TJW? TJW, I'm not sure. Wow, look at this, they got grass on them. As far as I'm aware, I think they are, but um. Who is this by? This is Danny Welbeck, huh? Welbs? Yeah, that, yeah that's what. Look at that. Danny Welbeck signed, best wishes to Charisma. Thank you, Danny Welbeck. <laughs> You got things on the back. It's not always as easy. I think they might be match worn, but match worn. Newcastle United still got the smudges on the back. Yeah. Another Newcastle United number 17 is Ayose Perez. I'm not sure. Now this is old school. Nigeria, a bit heavy. Number 16 still has a tag. Brand new with tags. Well, that's gonna be it. I could do a lot more, but I don't have all day here And I'm sure they want to get me out of here by now because I've been taking a look at every little jersey that I've been Coming across but uh, a very big thank you to classic football shirts. They invited me over They were like here. This is this 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 go ahead do your thing record or whatever But the best thing about this place is that obviously they have lots of jerseys brand new some use the match worn uh, Jersey selection is just phenomenal here. But anyways, we're gonna wrap this up here Let me know what you think by leaving all your feedback down below leave a like and subscribe and for everything soccer, keep it locked here.